that for medical schools is typically not going to be good enough without that upward trend. Ask Dr. Gray pre-med Q&A brought to you by Blueprint MCAT. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Awesome. How can I help you? So I want to know, uh, do I really need to do like a master's or a postback if my GPA for a science GPA is a 3.11 and a cumulative GPA is a 3.25? Mm. The question is, what is the trend there? So I went through most of my trends and it seems like it's not, um, it's not like too, um, crazy or anything, but it's more like, um, it's like I'm in, in between the three Oh and three five range. Mm-hmm. Like it, on the, like I use the, uh, map, um, uh, the application and like when I enter all my stats and grades and everything like my entire like grades from freshman year to senior year yeah it it looks a little messy but it's not like anything below or too um nothing too crazy i want to say but i do have a significant great trend is what i would say so so let me ask you more more directly so when i ask for a trend uh, or more specifically when i ask for is there a good upward trend what I'm looking for, if you're looking at MapDap and, and looking at the dashboard where it has those green and orange and blue lines and stuff, I'm mm-hmm. looking for that green semester line to be as close to a 4.0 for several dots, for several semesters. Are you up towards that 4.0 or are you closer to that 3.5 like you, you mentioned? Like a 3.5. Okay, yeah. So based on that alone, I would probably say you should look into a post program. I just didn't know, like, um, why would I need a post back or like what, like what reasons I should have one or because I was just like confused because I thought like, you know, because I like I heard like ma- many people who actually have like low stats, they do get into med school like without masters or post back is what I've talked to like multiple students in the past. And so typically if they have a good upward trend. Oh, okay. And, and so if if. A student has a 3.0, 3.0, 4.0, 4.0. 4.0. Their final number is a 3.5. 3.5 is good. It's not amazing. But that 3.5 is different than someone who has a 4.0, 4.0, 3.0, 3.0. 3.0. Oh, I Every get it. Every number tells a story. And so I, it frustrates me to no ends when you go onto Reddit or Student Doctor Network and, and even the pre-med hangout or Facebook group and students will post that question. They'll say, hey, I have a 3.11. What are my chances? And I'm like, I don't know. What does your trends look like? Because you may have a 3.1 with a 4.0 in your last 40 or 50 credit hours, but that just shows that you really struggled early on, but you've turned it around. And so, yes, those students with a low GPA can get into medical school, but typically they're getting in because they have an upward trend. Okay, uh, I see. Uh, I was just a little confused, but I do have my uh, like the map, um, like what my the graph looks like mm-hmm. uh, on my screen right now. Yeah, so it's uh, this is my trend here. Yeah, so so you don't have a trend. If if I were to draw a line between your green line, it's pretty flat, mm-hmm. right? And that fall nineteen twenty really really hurt you. Yeah, it did. Okay, so you're gonna need some work. The goal is to prove that you are academically capable of doing well in medical school, meaning mm-hmm. you're going to pass medical school in four years. You're gonna pass the boards the first time you take them. That's the, the standard that, that medical schools are looking for as a baseline. And then who are you as a person and all that other stuff, all the holistic stuff. And okay. so when I look at your, your mapped app dashboard there, your trend lines, I see a, a 3.0 student roughly, right? Uh, overall, 3.1, 3.2. That for medical schools is typically not going to be good enough without that upward trend. And so if you do the math 
you may take 20, 30, 40 credits, get a 4.0 in those credits, your numbers aren't going to move much. And I don't care about that. I don't care about the 3.2 or the 3.1. I care about the trend. Okay? So I want to see that green line go up and stay up as much as possible. And so for you, the if we were to look at that graph again, think about what it looks like. It's basically... 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, 1.5, 3.3, 3.4, little dip. And so there's there's no improvement to show that that you can get A's as, as much as possible. And so the question that I would ask you is why? Why did you struggle so much in school? Why was there no improvement over time? Obviously, the one bad semester we can assume something happened, whatever, but without seeing any sort of improvement or self-reflection potentially to go, okay, I got a 3.4. Why am I not getting a 4.0? What did I do this semester? How can I improve? Your your trends lines, your GPAs don't show that you're doing that sort of uh, of reflection semester after semester after semester. And so you need to do it now before you jump into a post back so that you don't start a post back program or a do it yourself post back or whatever it is and then just get the same grades again. Uh okay, I was just a little lost because I this is the part where I don't understand like post backs and all this stuff because it's like because I don't know like where to start and I'm like right now studying for my MCAT as well too. Yeah, don't and, you you don't need to be studying for the MCAT. You need you need work on your classes. Don't worry about the MCAT right now. That's yeah, my advice. It's, okay. It's just it's it's just like so hard right now like to understand like what am I really doing? Well, that's why you're talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> so like how how does like someone even like star post back or so. Yeah, so there there are different ways to do it. You can go find a, a an official post back program where you you apply to the program, they accept you, and then you're kind of in that program. You can do a do it yourself post back program where you just go to your local community college or four year university and take classes as a non degree seeking student. Sometimes. You'll have to say you're going to go get a second bachelor's degree, whether for financial aid purposes or, or not. Um, and you, you, take, you take classes at the university. Just keep taking classes, even if you've already graduated. You just take classes. That's a post back. Oh, okay. So like nothing like, so like a second bachelor's basically, you don't get like another associate's degree or no. You you don't need a bachelor's degree. You don't need a second. You don't need an associate's degree. You just need more classes, more science classes. Okay. So you just go to the university and say, I want to sign up for more science classes. <laughs> Where do I sign up? Okay. I guess that makes sense. So it doesn't really matter how many classes. It's just like seeing an upward trend, trend. Like, So is it... I had to do another four years of more science classes. No, or? you don't need four years. I I would say a, a year probably. Um, if you're taking twelve or fifteen credits uh, a semester, a year, year and a half of of grades will probably serve you well. And so as re- as we're recording this, it's it's June of 2022. So potentially looking at classes in the fall of 2022, so that's the 2022-2023 academic year. So fall 2022, spring 2022, which is 2023 calendar year, right? And then fall of 2023, then be done potentially based on how many credits you have, 30, 35, 40 credits after those three semesters. And then you'll be done at the end of the fall, so winter time, 2023. And then you can focus on MCAT and applications in that spring, that next year, 2024. Okay. Uh, th- yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Um, I I just didn't think of it at first, but I think now when you went over it, I think it makes much more sense. Good. At the end of the day, medical schools need to make sure that you're academically capable. 
And based yeah. on based on those trends, you are going to be very low in the list of students that they're going to be looking at because you don't have any substance there of showing a good solid upward trend for them to have confidence that you're going to do well in medical school compared to all the other students who are applying. Okay, so so I don't okay, so I don't re- really need another four years. I just need like just a couple of so, uh, upper level science classes, semesters and of classes, semesters of classes. Yeah, so like okay. three semesters of classes doing 10, 12 semester or credits a semester. Oh, okay, I, I just because I it's just. I don't know. It's the, it's just like, no, like, no, it doesn't really tell you these things. And it's just kind of like puts a much more break on your, uh, 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 like on your head. And like, it just gets confusing each time. But um, I, I just like, I know my grade trends, like it doesn't really like look very good. Mm-hmm. Um, I just, I, I just, I, like, I want to know like how to improve. And I guess the post back would make, would make more sense. And um, I wasn't sure like how many how many years I have to do this or so because because like my mind right now is like right now just MCAT and all this other stuff I have to worry about and then I, I still want to improve my 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 entire like trend I guess mm-hmm. and it's just like I don't, like I also like I want to know how you explain that to medical school about your trends and stuff and it's just you it don't ex- so- you don't explain it you just go get good grades. Okay. Go go get good grades in a post back program or a doing post back classes, and just go do well. There's nothing to explain. You struggled earlier. You fixed it. If they ask okay. about it, then you have to talk about it. But just tell the truth. Okay. And um, so like when you do a post back, um, do, do you have to count that towards your original uh? Every every class that you take, so you've entered the classes in Mapped App. Um, mm-hmm. As you take more classes, you just add them to the list. Every class, every credit, every grade gets added together, and it's just math at the end of the day how it all works out. Okay, okay, I think that makes sense. So, like, I would do like I don't know, like three semesters. Let's say the fall, winter, and spring. Of this upper level. Well, fall, it, it would probably be fall, spring, fall. Okay, I, th- I think that makes sense. Okay. Anything else? Um, no, I don't think anything else. I was just, I was a little concerned at first, but I think it makes sense after all. Okay. Well, good luck to you. Hopefully that Thank helped. You. And when you're, yeah. when you're ready for the MCAT, go to blueprintmcat.com and sign up for a free account. You get access to a half-length diagnostic and a free full-length exam as well. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good day.